In-ear monitors, or IEMs as they're called for short, have become more and more popular with gamers and streamers in recent history. In fact, the traditional over-the-ear you know, headset, as well as a dedicated microphone, although can produce very, very fantastic audio, can be very, very expensive and also take up a lot of space on your desk. Well, a company called Antlion Audio has produced a few new products that may be the answer if you're not necessarily wanting to go the traditional route with your audio. They've produced something that called the Chimera Solo, the Chimera Duo, and the Chimera Microphone. And these are in-ear monitors as well as uh, an inline microphone that you can attach to these in-ear monitors or any set of IEMs for that matter. So in this video, we're going to take a look at these brand new products see how they work, see how good they are, how good the microphone sounds, and whether or not they'd be a great option for you as a gamer or streamer. Now, before we dive in and take a look at the Antlion products, I do want to give a special shout out to the sponsor of today's video. Now, if you're anything like me and you are a streamer on Twitch or on any platform for that matter, then you're probably also in need of graphics, of templates, of things like that to, in order to set up your stream and your overlays and whatnot. Well, that's where the sponsor of today's video comes in, which is Placeit.net. Placeit has thousands of mockups and templates for stream overlays, Twitch panels, logos, merch, YouTube end screens, animations, and so much more. Once you find the template you're looking for, you can customize colors, text, and other elements to make the perfect design creation. After that, download it and it's completely yours to use however you want with full commercial license. Instead of spending hundreds of dollars on design work, you can purchase a monthly or yearly subscription to place it and get unlimited downloads. Just use my 15% off discount link in the description below. Massive thank you to Placeit. Make sure you check out that link in the description and save that 15% off of your monthly or yearly subscription. Now, Antlion Audio, the Chimera Solo and Chimera Duo in-ear monitors. This is what we're gonna talk about first and foremost. Now, I've already unboxed these and I'll go ahead and show you kind of what comes in the box. But uh, here they are right here. And we'll move these boxes out of the way. I'll show you the boxes. They're very nice boxes. Mine are a little bit beat up. Uh, I think it was just through shipping. And I've already torn them open. I did an unboxing short on my channel. So if you want to check that out, go check out my shorts. Um, but there's the Solo and the Duo boxes. They look very, very similar. Um, but they've got slight differences between the two, which we're going to talk about right now. Now, uh, this is what comes in the box. You get a case for the Chimera uh, headset, all right? It's got their uh, Chimera logo on the top there. Um, and then this will allow you to roll up these, uh, these headsets and the microphone and everything right in here. This is a hard shell case, which is really nice. Um, so it's a pretty nice little carrying case. You've also got this little adapter, which goes on the end of this cable here. There's actually two... Um, there's two, you know, uh, 3.5 millimeter jacks on the end of this cable. And the reason why is because one is for the microphone here and one is for the headset. And so if you want to combine those, then they give you this little attachment here and you can combine them into one. And this would plug in right into like a laptop or something with a TRRS input. And so that way you could just have one plug to go in and have your microphone and your audio monitoring at the same time. And then on top of that, it actually comes with four different size, um, you know, uh, basically gummies for your ear tips. And so, in fact, uh, three of them are the kind of the rubbery gummy ear tips. And then you also have a set of foam. And these foam ones are, uh, you know, pretty, pretty squishy. Now, I will tell you um, with the ear tips, this is one of the things we'll talk about here in a little bit. But the ear tips themselves... Uh, you know, it's going to depend on each person. For me, I have had trouble figuring out which set is most comfortable. I've ended up on the smallest ones, but uh, but you're just going to have to kind of play around to see what works best in your ear. I will tell you that is one of the things that, that you know, I'll tell you this now. And we'll talk about it a little bit more later, but that's one of the things that is a kind of a downfall for me with these headsets is the ear tips themselves just are not super comfortable. Anyway, so that's kind of what comes in the box. The most important part, though, is this right here. Here, which is your in-ear monitors. These are the Solos, and uh, you can tell that they're the Solos by the fact that they've got this awesome red color. Uh, and then the Duos are blue, and we'll talk about those here in just a minute when I show you what I've done with the Duos. But uh, there's two different sets. They have slight differences between the two. Um, one of the uh, one of the major things to note about all the sets of these uh, these you know in ear monitors is the fact that they are detachable. So one of the cool things about IEMs is that you can detach this cable here. 
And when you do, this basically just allows you to, uh, you know, put any set of in-ear monitors on this microphone. So technically, if you don't like these in-ear monitors, uh, you don't have to use them. You can buy this microphone by itself or you can get the whole set. And then if you decide, hey, I've got a different pair that I like better or whatever, you can just pop these off and pop on a new pair. And that's what's cool about this microphone is that it's it's detachable, right? Um, and so you can just uh, reattach this. You could technically, I guess, put it on either side if you wanted to, um, but uh, you attach that on there and then your in-ear monitor is ready to go. Now, what's also really, really cool about these is that uh, not only are they detachable, but they're also flexible and adjustable. So these, these ear kind of loops here are completely bendy, right? I, if that's if that's the right word, they're bendable. Um, they, uh, they can be kind of conformed to your ear, so you can get a really nice fit with your IEMs, and, uh, and that way it kind of holds them in place, and it also helps support the fact that you've got this microphone coming off of the, uh, the headset itself. And so there's the microphone down there at the end. It's very, very small and kind of, uh, it's, it's really out of the way. It looks like a, uh, you know, standard, headset you might see somebody on stage wearing or something like that um but uh it helps support that weight with these these a little bit more rigid but but bendable uh you know ear hooks and so very very cool uh seems to be very good quality um i haven't had a problem with the quality of these uh, i have noticed that because these these can twist around freely on the the um the IEMs that every once in a while I've noticed that there'll be like a crackle or like a like a disconnect and I don't know if it's just this pair or if it you know if this is something you know that might be a, an issue for these overall but um, I have noticed that there's been a few times where you know there'd be a crackle or a disconnect when these are spinning around when I'm trying to adjust them once I've had them adjusted though they seem to be pretty pretty solid. They don't have to have, you know, any kind of crackle or, or noise after that. So, uh, anyway, those are the, uh, the basic, you know, set of the solos. Now, one thing you can do with these is, uh, you can also, if you don't want the microphone itself, let's say you get a pair and you want the IEMs, but you don't want the microphone because you are going to use a dedicated microphone, then you can swap out and replace the, uh, headset with your own cable. And so that's what I've done with the solos here. Uh, I mean, sorry, with the duos. You'll notice that the duos, which are blue, uh, I actually put my own cable on here. And I'll have a link for this cable down in the uh, description of this video as well. But this is an IEM, uh, you know, cable, dedicated cable without a microphone. Um, there, it's actually, in my opinion, more comfortable. It's a very, very nice cable. It's braided. Um, it doesn't get tangled very easily. It, it, it stays, uh, you know, coiled up when you want it to, and then it hangs down very freely whenever you are using it. But uh, anyway, you could swap them out, and so you can get these IEMs and put your own cable on here. And then you don't even have to have the microphone attached to them if you don't want to. And so because I, I prefer using a dedicated microphone, I've already got the setup for it and things like that. I went ahead and got this cable to try it out and it works great. Now, another thing that I want to mention to you guys with these uh, these headsets is that um, these cables right here, actually the, the headsets themselves come in two different connector options. Uh, so you can get the two pin connectors or you can get the MMCX connectors. Um, these are the MMCX connectors that I have on here. But also there are a two pin version, which has the, you know, little two pins that plug in right into the, uh, the IEMs. So depending on what you prefer, you've got that option available as well. So the big question is how do the headsets sound and how does the microphone sound? Well, I want to go ahead and use the microphone through the rest of this video. So I'm going to go ahead and switch on over to using the headset instead of this microphone. But I wanted to show you how good this microphone is compared to an Electro Voice RE20. This is one of the most popular brands broadcasting microphones that there is, um, and it costs about $450. This headset, we'll talk about the price at the end of this video, but it is much cheaper price-wise than this microphone, but I wanted to show you how comparable the sound can be between a microphone that's this small and a microphone that's completely dedicated like this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these in my ears and we'll get them all set up and then we'll use this for the rest of the video. Okay, so now I have the Antlion Chimera Solos in my ears, but I'm still using this microphone as my audio. What I'm gonna do though, is I'm using a GoXLR to run this headset and to run this microphone into, um, and I wanna switch between the two microphones just so that you can see what the difference in sound is like. Now I am hearing my own voice in my headset right now through the GoXLR that I'm using, but you can also hear your own voice through the microphone that's attached. So you'll be able to monitor your own voice uh, audio 
just fine. But what we're going to do is we are going to use the Go XLR and I've actually fine tuned and equalized it so that you can hear how good this microphone can sound. Now it's not going to sound like this out of the box uh, until you run it through some kind of audio processing, but a lot of people use Go XLRs and things of that nature when they are streaming. And so this is going to give you a good idea of how good the audio quality could be if you use a headset like this for streaming or gaming. So I'm going to go ahead and switch this over to the Antlion Chimera microphone. And now we are using the Antlion Chimera microphone. And uh, I'm going to switch this back to the RE20 and kind of go back and forth for you guys to see the difference. But between the two microphones, which this is now the RE20, uh, there is a there's a difference. You can tell a difference, but the only way you're going to really hear that difference is if you put on a headset. When I switch back over to the Chimera microphone, uh, it still sounds fantastic. Um, you are going to tell, like I said, a difference between the two, especially with a headset on. But it is... I mean, the, the quality is actually fantastic, especially for a microphone that is this small. So I wanted to show you guys how closely these two microphones are comparatively, uh, even though there's a massive price difference. So one more time, this is the Antlion Chimera microphone, and this is the Electro Voice RE20. And you can hear the difference between the two, but it is very, very, uh, you know, close comparatively. In my opinion, it's a lot closer than I expected these two microphones to be. And so we're on the RE20. 20 and back to the Chimera microphone. Uh, now, the rest of this uh, video, we are going to be using the Antlion Chimera microphone to talk about some of the other things that I want to mention uh, when it comes to this awesome new set of products. You may be asking yourself, well, what is the big difference between the duos and the solos besides the color? You know, these are red, the, the duos are blue, but what is the big difference? Well, according to Antlion, the solos have a dynamic driver, uh, just one dynamic driver that um, produces a very warm, rich tone, in my opinion. It, it sounds like what probably most of us are used to listening to with other earbuds and, and things like that. Whereas the duos not only have the dynamic driver that the solos have, but they also have what they call a, a balanced armature. Uh, and so it's basically an additional additional treble quality when you're monitoring audio. So the the solos, these that I'm using right now, have, a, a, I would say, more of a, a, a flat dynamic, you know, a little bit more bass, uh, not, not maybe, maybe a warmer tone, whereas the duos, they do kind of accentuate the treble and the highs. And the reason why this is important is because between the two, I actually prefer the duos when it comes to gaming. And that is the, uh, you know, the set right here, the blue set that has, um, and I put my own cable on here, right? But this one right here, the blue set has a little bit more crispness to the highs. And what that means is when you're playing a game and you're trying to hear footsteps or things of that nature, these are going to actually do better for you. Uh, whereas when you are listening to music, I actually found myself preferring the sound of the solos. I actually liked this sound better when I was listening to music just because it was a little bit more uh, full, warm, it had a little bit more bass, but the footsteps, the you know crunch of leaves, things like that within games is not going to stand out as much on the solos as it does on the duos. So it depends what your use case is going to be between the two. Not to say that you can't game with both sets or listen to music with both sets, but to my ears, I would prefer, you know, I would prefer the duos for the gaming just because of that clarity in the highs. Whereas I will tell you, the solos work very, very well. And if you get used to the way that the solos sound, you may not even really notice that much of a difference. Uh, some people have said that they had trouble kind of, you know, with situational awareness and things between the solos versus the duos. Uh, they prefer the duos. And I, I can see why, but I, I don't know if, you know, if you didn't have both sets to compare to one another, I don't know if it would make that much of a difference, really. So just kind of uh, one of my own, you know, little opinions that I wanted to throw in there between both of the sounds. Now, I said that we were going to talk about the ear tips, and I do want to discuss that a little bit further because that was the one big downfall for these headsets that I myself personally noticed. Uh, even though you get a set of four different ear tips here, and I've got three of them, and then of course one set on the actual um, the actual earbuds themselves or the IEMs themselves, uh, I've tried all of these. I've tried all of these ear tips, and I could never find an ear tip that was comfortable for me. Uh, I wore these foam ones right here for an entire stream. We're talking about seven, eight hours, 
And uh, by the time that seven or eight hours was over, these foam ear tips, my, my ears actually hurt really, really bad. Uh, so those were not the right tips for me. I tried these big ones here. They were a little bit better. But again, my ears just, uh, these were the largest size they have. And my ears just did not um, feel good after a, a seven or eight hour session of gaming and streaming. Um, I switched to the smallest size, uh, which I have on the, uh, the, the duos right here. And the smallest size ear tips actually did feel the best to me. Uh, these felt better than the other ones, but I will tell you that again, after about, it was, it was around six, six hours is about the mark. If you're streaming or gaming for about six hours, you're going to be fine. Uh, but eventually I had to take these out and switch to my over the ear, um, headset. And the reason why is because my ears were just getting kind of, kind of, itchy they were a little bit fatigued from having something in there that long um, and I, I think that it's probably like I said my ears I'm ordering I actually ordered a whole new set different sizes of foam ear tips like this because I think that a smaller size uh, or maybe a, a slightly you know softer foam ear tip might actually feel better in my ears so I've actually ordered a whole new series of ear tips off of Amazon that I'm going to try out uh, but that is the one thing that I noticed is that for me in the IEMs, you know, the, the discomfort that I felt over longer periods of gaming or streaming was just not ideal. So just want to throw that out there again. Like I said, it could just be my ears. Uh, you know, a lot of people don't have a problem with IEMs at all. So, you know, and then there's a lot of customization as far as ear tips that you can buy out there. So don't let that sway you, but that was the biggest downfall that I noticed with these is that I just... I ran into that discomfort. Now, one of the things I do want to mention is that the ear tips do block out sound very, very well. And so, uh, when I put these in, I actually have a, um, I actually have a, a, a portable air conditioner in my gaming room, uh, my streaming room. And when the air conditioner goes off, it's pretty loud. Uh, but what I noticed is that these actually blocked out the sound of that air conditioner better than my over the ear closed back headphones, uh, which are um, actually have like a 30 decibel reduction so these do better than my headphones do uh, in re rejecting sound and, and noise within the room uh, so that was something with all the different ear tips that I really really enjoyed is that they would block out the sound of that air conditioner and make things sound very very quiet and get me kind of immersed more into the game that I'm playing and while I'm talking on stream things like that I'm not I don't feel like I'm competing as much with the air conditioner or other loud noises in my room. Now, last but not least, I want to talk about the price of these and show you the website for Antlion and, and the Chimera stuff. Here it is right here. Uh, but if you'll go down, you'll notice that they've got the uh, Chimera Solos uh, right here for $99.95. And then the uh, the Duos, now these do come with the microphone, the Duos come in at $149.95. And lastly, if you have your own in-ear monitors or um, you, know, you want to get a different set of IEMs altogether, then you can also just buy the Chimera microphone cable itself and then you can plug in whatever set of IEMs you want and have this microphone uh, and I will tell you that that makes this extremely versatile because not only can you you know get an entire set right and this is all in one these do sound fantastic but you can use the microphone with any set so if you want to buy, you know, a, a cheaper pair of IEMs off of Amazon and then you want to get this cable for $59.95, you plug those in, you can get it in the 2-pin or the MMCX, uh, you know, connectors and you're good to go at that point. You're good to go. If we scroll down here to the very, very bottom, uh, it'll show you kind of the... the you know, list, the comparison list. And if you'll notice right here, the IEM drivers, single dynamic driver versus dynamic driver and the balanced armature for the uh, the duos. So that's one of the big differences there. They both, of course, come in the MMCX adapter if you're actually getting the IEMs with the microphone itself or the microphone by itself will come in either uh, connector. So take that into consideration. Uh, the, the colors are set. So the solos are red and the Chimera duos are blue. Um, they have, you know, the same thing, high quality mic. Uh, the Y adapter is included. Cable length is two meters on all of them. Uh, and then they, uh, they terminate down into a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Like I mentioned, it's actually two of them. Uh, and then you have the, the adapter. 
um, the hard travel, travel case and the manufacturer's warranty on all of them. So just wanted to show you that uh, so you could compare the prices, but it's actually a great deal. And overall, I would say with, uh, with whatever set you go with, whether you go with the solos, the duos, or you want just the microphone, um, you're going to get a good product. You're going to get a really, really good product that works very, very well. Anyway, with that being said, overall, I give the Antlion Chimera Audio, um, you know, solos, duos, and the microphone itself a solid four stars. That is my, 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 you know, one out of five stars. I give it a four stars. The only reason it didn't get a five star was because of the comfort situation. Although putting that, uh, that cable right here on the solos did create a very, very comfortable experience, even more so than with the microphone. Uh, I really do like this cable. Like I said, if you're looking for a cable, I will, I will link this down in the description as well as links to the, uh, the solo, the duo and the, um, the camera microphone itself. So, uh, anyway, that that was a lot more comfortable, um, even with the same ear tips. And then once I get these new ear tips in, we'll uh, we'll see how those do. But overall, still solid four stars. I I do recommend this for anybody who's interested in uh, you know uh, a smaller, more concise headset option. This will allow you to stream, allow you to game, and you're going to sound better than probably 99% of the people that you're playing against or with. Uh, and I would I would. You know, I would I would say that probably this microphone is one of the best sounding headset microphones that I've ever heard. I like Antlion's other headset microphones, but I think that out of all of them, this one actually sounds better even than some of their other offerings. Um, so they've done a great job. They've gone above and beyond. And if I was going to use a headset microphone, this is the one that I would pick. So with all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully this video was helpful for you and you found it uh, to be very, very enlightening as far as what headset you should go with if you want to get one of these. Um, I will say that if you like this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button for me. And uh, of course, subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell if you'd like to see more videos like this when they go live. In addition to that, I am a streamer on Twitch at twitch.tv slash EagleGarrett. So come on by, hang out with us anytime. We would love to have you in the chat. You can also come hang out with us on Discord at discord.gg slash flock. I've got a link for all of this down in the description of this video. And you can even find me on all the social media sites, Twitter being the one I use the most. So hit me up on any of those. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching. And until the next video, as always, rock on, peace out, God bless. And last but not least, kick off! Oh, yeah. Oh, it's time to lay down. It's time to lay down, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, taking a load off. My goodness gracious. This is what happens after you spend an hour and a half in an M9. This is what it looks like when you spend an hour and a half in an M9 expedition and you get stuck. <laughs> it takes forever to find people to try to replace when people have to leave. <laughs> you just go right to bed. You go right to sleep. <laughs> Oh, man.